Morning, early start. We're uh, going to get off and shoot Kef and Tiller today and support Rob Evans' shoot there. So I thought we'd jump on as promised and put a little video up. Just hopefully help you with your mindset and how to actually manage a course. Um, a lot of it comes from self-pressure and expectations beyond our level of shooting ability. So when we go to a shoot, you know, worked all week, maybe argue to get out for the weekend, you get to the first stand and you go lost kill and bang, the world's ended. You've missed your first bird out. I mean, that still means we can shoot at 99 and our average is only 72, but the mindset doesn't accept that. That's automatic failure. And oh, why did I bother? Why did I come? I'm going to try and introduce a different kind of mindset for you on how to manage your scorecard. And believe it or not, here at Ben Hustwaite Shooting, we don't condone changing your own scorecard. They're just rumours. We, um, we're going to start to get into the mindset that the scorecard, we're going to start playing it a bit like golf. You know, people say if you hit the first pair, you should straight the stand. Again, absolute nonsense. You've got what you should be able to hit. And then you've got the bits that you maybe shouldn't be able to hit. So there's targets that we're comfortable with and targets that we're not comfortable with. Kobe, get out. Kobe, out. Out. Okay. So we have to be realistic in our, in our expectations. And the, the way I go around a course is you look at the station, okay? You get to the first station and we've got a teal and let's say a batu. We're not too fond of teals. We've got a lesson coming up that we've booked to help sort them out. But right now, we're not too confident on them. So if there's four teals, I'm going to be pretty comfortable if I can hit 50%. So that gives me two. The Batu, he's a good bird. I've watched a couple of good shooters miss that, but you know I'm not too afraid to open up good spaces. So if I can hit 75% of them, I'm going to hit three out of four of them. That gives me a total for this peg of five. My par is five. Now my mindset's changed. If I go pair lost, I can still achieve my five. If I go pair killed, I'm getting to where I need to be. So you're controlling your mindset, not ultimate disappointment by having that first zero. So if I go in there and I go pair dead, kill loss, pair dead, kill loss, oh, wow, I've got a six. I've got one more than I needed. You know, I'm happy. So I take that one and I place it in my pocket because I might need it later if I have a bad stand. And that's how I manipulate and manage a scorecard and understand the mindset. At the end of the competition, I look down and if my figures are where they should be, regardless of where I finish, because I can't control how other people shoot. But if I, you know, if I add it all up and I've got more than what I'm like, yeah, that's, that's just been a great round today. Now I'm going to go back and check the scorecard, see if I fell anywhere in B class, C class or whatever you may be in. But be governed by your own performance. We know there's sandbaggers out there, so you can't always win your class, even on a good performance. But if you can get this going well and actually start to accept that you are going to miss, and that's, that's one thing that we do need to look upon, is that if you shoot for another 10 years, there's probably not going to be a day when you go out and shoot sporting where you don't miss. Kobe, get out. So if you, if you have simply a fear of missing you're always going to be fighting an uphill stance. You, you, you're not going to be able to control your mindset. If you go in there and say, you know what, this is a super hard station, you know. I've just watched somebody shoot it uh, who's very good. I know he can win high guns and he only hit five out of eight. So there's no reason you should expect six. You've got to go in there realistically opening your mind. And I walked a student around a course one day. He was a very good B-class shooter. And I said to him, right, okay, on every station, I just want you to tell me what your pars are. So he told me his pars, and I put them in my phone, in my notes. And we just steadily went around the course, not bringing it up. At the end of the competition, we got to the end. And I said, right, what do you think you shot? And he says, I don't know, I feel like I've shot good. 
I said, okay. I said, well, you've shot 78. And he was like, wow, that's a personal best by five birds. I said, no, it's an, we, had a, we had a terrible day. And he says, well, what do you mean? I said, you shot horrendous. Because if I go through my notes and what you told me you should have shot on every stand, you should have finished on a 96 today. No way. But that's what you told me. I'd show you the birds. You'd say I should straight this or I should it seven out of eight here and I should straight this. And that's what happens. You know, when he actually finished with the 78, he was ecstatic. But his goals that he put down were 96 and I think 95 won the shoot. So people's brain just don't accept that, you know, you can miss in this sport. So going around that course, try it. Try it in your mind today. I don't know if any of you take pictures of your old scorecards. And, and if you're stuck at home and self can, self isolating at the moment pick a scorecard up out your phone and have a look at it i think if you've got a good memory like mine and you can remember this remember the shoot sit there and think well you know that that stand there i'd have been happy with a five christ i got six the next stand there i really should have hit six and i only got a five but that one extra that i got on stand one i bring that down and now i'm back on par and my mindset changes in a flash instead of being a target down i bring the one that i've got across and I'm back to the, whew, you know, and that's the best advice I can give you on the mental game is to change your mental game. Stop going out there to break a hundred because it very, very rarely happens. And start playing an average game of golf. What should you hit? Not what you want. What should you hit on this station on these specific targets? and work your way around the course. At the end of the day, add up what you think you should have got, add up what you did get, and if those numbers are the same or higher, you've had a hell of a day. Forget the scoreboard, you're not gonna make money doing this. But what you can do is get self-satisfaction and a better performance if your mindset is clear and you're chasing your average, not 100 straight. I hope that helps. It's something you can work on at home by going over your own scorecards. As I said, any questions, I'll be live tonight. We can jump on, we'll have some fun. If anybody wants to join me, you're more than welcome. And I, like I say, I hope these videos help you out in these times.